let's see how the integrated rate law applies to first order reactions. So when studying the decomposition of dinitrogen pentoxide, we found that the differential rate law was first order. Let's see how the integrated rate law looks for a first order reaction. If you plot the natural log of your concentration versus the time, and you receive a straight line, you know that you have a first order reaction. The constant will be equal to the slope. The slope is negative, so negative k is equal to the slope. The units for k on a first order reaction is per second. So often you're given data to determine the order of a reaction. So we have the decomposition of dinitrogen pentoxide studied at a constant temperature, and we're asked to verify that the rate law is first order and calculate the rate constant. That rate constant is five, and our number to always include the units with that. So usually given some data, and we have time versus your concentration, and you're going to plot this with your calculator, and I'll show you that in a separate video. Your steps to plot the concentration of N2O5 versus time is use your calculator, press your stat, and then your edit, and then put the time values in column one, be a little bit easier, and in L2 or list two, put your concentration of your dinitrogen pentoxide. The next thing you want to do is check if your graph is a line. Remember you're plotting L1 as your X and L2, the concentration, as your Y. So you're looking at T. I'm just going to put it way there. If this is a straight line, you know you have a zero order reaction. So check that. If it's not, that means you want to do another manipulation of your data. So your next step is to plot the natural log of your concentration versus time. So again, using your calculator, you want back to stats, back to edit. L1 is still time. L2 is still your concentration. What you're going to do is go to L3 and make it the natural log of your list in two. And I'll show you how to do that in a separate video. Then you want to plot your natural log of your concentration, I just wrote A there, versus time. So you're looking at T is your L1, your X, and your L2 is your natural log of N2O5 in ours. If that is a straight line, you know you have a first order reaction. Once you have a straight line, you can calculate the slope. You should have something that looks something like this beautiful graph from the book. And now let's calculate the slope, because remember the slope is equal to the next term. So in your calculator again, go to stat, calc, select linear regression. Remember we have our time in L1 and our natural log in L3. So make sure that you choose the proper list for your calculation and k is going to be equal to the negative of that your y. So it's going to have a value of 6.93 and 10 to the positive third. And I know it's per second for a first order reaction. Now, what does B represent? B represents the initial concentration of N2O5. So remember, initially, we put that little not symbol. So let's put this information to use. So this is another problem from our textbook. We want to use the data that we just calculated to find the concentration of N205 at 150 seconds after the start of the reaction. So this is our equation that we need to use, and our goal is to find concentration at 150 seconds. So, so we have the natural log of N2O5, our goal is that concentration is equal to 
negative 6.93 times 10 to the minus third per second times 150 seconds plus the natural log of our regional concentration, which is 0 0.1000. 000. So calculating our time section, I'm going to round 1.040. And the natural log of 0.1 is 2.303. If we add those two numbers together, we get a value of negative 300, about 2.3. And that's our value of our next natural log. Now, to find the value of the concentration, we need to take E to the negative 3.343 power. So on your calculator, you press the second button and then the natural log. You'll see the E printed above it. And then once you calculate your answer, you should have about 8.53 times 10 to the minus second, and this is moles per liter, for a concentration at 150 seconds. So in a first order reaction, the differential rate law is just A to the first power. There shouldn't be anything else written there. And your integrated rate law is the natural log of A. If you look on your AT sheet, you're going to see this written there. And what you're looking for in a graph is that you have a straight line when you have the natural log of your concentration versus time. 